Hey guys, I'm Laurie and welcome to my channel. I have a bar inspired workout coming your way. It's gonna have a little bit of cardio, some shoulders, some core, and of course, legs and booty. So this workout is designed for anyone, but it's specifically designed for my beautiful pregos out there. So as always guys, uh, this is your pregnancy. This is your special time. So always consult with your doctor before beginning any exercise regimen, A. B, this is your time to really pay close attention to your body. So if something doesn't feel right, guys, do not do it. Your body's gonna send you signals. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Um, and C, guess what? You have the option to always hit pause. If you feel like you're out of breath, if this is too much, guys, stop what you're doing, hit pause, take a break, take a breather, grab a drink of water, and then get right back into it. All right. So what do you need for today? You need your beautiful self. Of course, I recommend having a mat and a set of weights. Now we're going to be using the weights to really target your shoulders. So I recommend anywhere uh, between two pounds and five pounds. And if that doesn't feel enough, if it doesn't feel challenging, guys, grab something heavy, heavier. And if it feels like it's too much, you can always get rid of the weights completely. Or a great option is to grab uh, a water bottle in place of the weights. So grab your weights, grab your mat, get your beautiful self. I suggest grabbing a water as well. And let's get to work. All right, guys, are you ready to go? Grab your dumbbells, one dumbbell in each hand. And again, if you don't have a dumbbell, grab a water bottle in each hand or no water bottle or weight at all. I'm gonna be offering modifications and options throughout. So if something feels too intense, um, I'll have a modification or option for you, hopefully. And as always, guys, number one option, get rid of the weights and reduce your range of motion. Okay, one dumbbell in each hand, bring those hands to a punching position. We're just gonna tap the foot right and left to get warmed up. So tap right, left. We're just bringing it directly out to the side. Elbows hugging tight, palms face in. Little tap, little tap. So our belly button is facing right forward. No rotation in the core yet. So we wanna be very mindful if we do any sort of twisting or rotation because you got this belly, you got a baby in there. So we're about to add a slight twist, guys, but that's the key word, slight. It's not a big movement. It's gonna be to about, if you're looking at a clock, one o'clock, to, I can't do my math, one o'clock to an 11 o'clock position on a clock. So let's just start to add that little hip rotation. And it's mainly through your hips. It's not twisting through your core. Think about like pivoting the foot. So if you do, if you've ever played baseball or golf, just that little rotation in the hips. And my belly button's not even going to a uh, one and 11. It's just uh, a little bit short of that. So get that going, right, left, right, left, rotating, I'm tapping my toes. Okay guys, now we're gonna amp it up. We have these weights in our hand, what are we gonna do with it? Well, we're gonna start punching. So I want you to punch with the position of your belly button. So if you're at a one and an 11 o'clock position, that's where, you're pump, or that's where you're punching. Palms will face in, so neutral grip, thumbs on top. And guess what, guys? The target for the arms today is going to be on your shoulders. So we all love having that nice, rounded shoulder cap. That's what we're gonna work on. We have light weights. I don't have a ton of reps coming at you today, but just enough to where you should feel a burn. And then at the very end, you know, a burnout's gonna come with those shoulders. So we're just getting our heart rates up, just getting nice and warm. Just keep that up. You have eight, six, and four. We hold the feet and we'll just punch right now. Just punch, heel stay grounded. Ground through all four corners of the feet and I want you to punch forward. Punch straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. Slight bend in the knees. Weight is heavy in your heels. My feet are wider than shoulder distance apart because that's just a comfortable uh, squat position for me. I'm not in a squat, 
but my knees are bent heavy in my heels. My chest is lifted, slight pinch of the shoulder blades. So guys, make sure you are not rounding through <laughs> the shoulders like this. Always keep that slight pinch of the shoulder blade, neutral spine. So also make sure that you're not sticking that booty out. So that means not booty out. You're not tucked under. You are somewhere in between and breathe. Shoulders nice and warm. You have eight, six, then we'll hold. Four, three, two, now hold. Bring those hands to field goal position. I have a little combo movement coming at you. We're doing it slow to start, then we'll speed it up. Give me a shoulder press. Take it down to a sumo squat. Lift through the heels, press through the heels, then lower it down. So it's shoulder press, sumo squat, heavy in those heels, press it up. Lower down, one more time slow, press it up. Lower down to that sumo squat, press through the heels to engage those glutes. Now tempo, it's press, lower, up and down. Press the arms, lower down, press through the heels, lower, up, lower, press and down. Up, lower, press and down. So your option with this guys is to reduce your range of motion on the squat. So instead of going super low, you can go about halfway, press, then lower. And of course your option with the shoulder press is to lighten the weight. Keep it up, it's up, lower, press, down. Up, lower, press, and down. My shoulders are starting to feel it. How about yours? Keep it up, press it up, lower, press, and down. It's up lower, press, and down again. Up, lower, press, and down again. Up, lower, press, and down. Two more, up, lower, press. Last one, up, lower, press, and down. Take it back to that sumo squat and start to just give me those little pulses, little pulses. We're gonna give our shoulders a little bit of break, but you're gonna feel it in that booty. Little press down. So guys, if this is too much, I want you to bring those uh, feet a little closer together so you can stay right here. Be heavy in your heels. And guys, so this is more challenging than this, but that's still challenging, guys. Find what works for you. Your booty, your quads, your hamstrings should be firing up. You have eight, seven, and six. We're gonna tap those feet, four, Three, two, one. Now tap, go right, go left, right, left. This is our, our cardio. Now it's not a lot, but it's gonna get that heart rate up just a little bit. Tapping. If you guys want more cardio, this is it. You're like, this is nothing. Well, it's something to some people, everyone's different. So guys, if you're like, this isn't, I thought I was doing cardio today. Check out one of my other videos. It'll get your heart rate up a little bit more. All right, guys, are you ready to add those punches? Let's do it. Right, left, make sure you're punching in the direction of your belly. 11 to one, 11 to one, 11 to one. Punch it straight out. So you're not punching down here. You're punching straight out, bringing it in nice and tight. Come on, come on. Eight more than we hold. It's eight, six, four, three. Continue the punches, hold the feet for eight. Punch straight out. Seven, four, three, two, one. Great job. Heel toe the feet in about shoulder distance. Grab both weights into the right hand. Bring the arms down to the side. Left hand goes behind the head. I want you to take those weights in the right hand. Let them just glide down towards that right knee. So you're keeping a nice neutral spine. You feel a stretch along the left oblique. That's what I want you to feel it right through here. Now use that left oblique to bring your back, bring yourself back up to center. You feel that? So take it down nice and slow. You feel that stretch. Now use this muscle, fire it up to bring it back to center. Got it? Let's do it. So take it down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. Eight more, down, two, lift it up. Down, two, lift it up again. Down, slow, use this to lift down slow 
use this to lift. I'm giving you a different view. So I'm not going forward and I'm not hinging back, putting pressure on that low back. It's straight to the side, down for two, lift for two, down for two, lift for two, two more, down for two, lift for two, last one, down for two, lift for two, now other side. So we already got it, let's go straight to it. Both dumbbells into that left hand, right hand goes behind the head. Take it down nice and slow. Now use that right oblique to lift yourself back up to center. Down nice and slow, find your end range motion, and now lift to center. Guys, your option, let's tempo for two, lift for two. Your option is to decrease your range of motion. So just take it down a little bit lower, bring it up to center. So you don't have to go as low like this, an option, guys, always reduce your range of motion. Got it, great job. Down for two, lift for two again. Down for two, lift for two, a few more. Down for two, lift it up. Down for two, lift it up, two more. You got it, down for two, lift it high. Down for two, weights go in both hands. Start to tap those feet. Dumbbells right by the chest, palms face in. Add that little twist with the hip. It's not much, it's not much. Just adding that little pivot. Pivot with that foot, tap that toe. Now add those punches. Go right, go left, go right, go left, go right, go left. Eight more like this. And then we're gonna hold those feet wide this time. Heels in, toes out, and continue the punches. Here we go, last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold the feet, just punch straight forward, straight forward. All right, guys, heels in, toes out. We're bringing it down to that sumo squat. Find your in range motion. So you may not be down here. You may be up here, guys, and that's okay. Find what works for you. Now we're just punching straight forward. Weight is heavy in the heels. Your glutes should be saying, hello. <laughs> All right, guys, in a few moments, we're gonna amp it up just a little bit. Your option is to stay right where you are with this tempo. But if you can, if you got it in ya, we're gonna punch a little bit quicker. In five, four, three, two, now give me all you got right here. Shorten the punch, shorten the punch. So I'm bringing about halfway and I'm increasing my tempo. My shoulders are starting to burn. Don't let it drop. You're not punching down here. That's not gonna do that much. I want those shoulders to start burning. Hey, guess what? You're about to have a baby. You're going to be carrying around this sweet child all the time. I still carry around my three-year-old. She's pretty heavy. My shoulders are the most defined they have ever been. <laughs> so you have that to look forward to. Come on, keep punching about 20 more seconds. <sighs> Breathe through it. Here's your last eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Bring it up to a nice standing position. Feet are wide. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. As you exhale, hinge from the hips. Once you get about halfway, release those weights down first. Let the head hang nice and heavy. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. Release the right knee down. Release the left knee down. Walk the hands back into the knees and roll up one vertebrae at a time. So just leave your weights right in front of you and have them within arm's reach when we need them. All right, let's get to a side plank variation. So you're nice and tall. Start to extend your right leg out, curl the left toe under uh, back here, and then I want you to point this right toe. Slowly side bend, start to lower that left hand down until your left hand finds the mat. So this is an option for side plank. If you guys are uh, feeling good, you can bring it up to that full side plank, slide the left foot behind. You can even stack the feet for a more challenging variation. Today, I'm just gonna stay right here, but just know that those challenges uh, is something that you can do. So if you want that challenge, get there. I'll be doing the option today. All right, guys, right arm extends up. And if you want more of a challenge right here, you can grab one weight into the hand and hold it there as we do this. So 
I want you to dip that left hip down, left hip goes down, then we're gonna fire up, just like we were doing those little oblique reaches, you're going to use that left oblique to guide yourself back into that starting position. So go down nice and slow, then use that oblique to lift you back up to center. So you're not pressing through the hand to guide yourself up. You're using your obliques to press it back up. So it's down for two, lift for two. So I have my hand up with a weight. This is pretty challenging. You don't have to have the weight here. And you can also have this hand kind of guiding yourself down. If you don't feel like you are stable enough, place your hand right in front of you. Go down for two, lift for two again. Down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. Two more. Down for two, lift for two. Last one. Down for two, lift, now hold. I want you to fire up that right oblique. Guide this right hand down. Left fingertips come off the mat and you're coming back to a nice neutral spine. Grab one weight into the right hand. Left hand goes onto the left hip. Right hand extends long right in front of the pelvis. Palm faces towards the left side of the room. We're going to start with some lat raises. So draw that dumbbell towards the right side of the room. Dumbbell is parallel to your right shoulder. Slight bend of the elbows and then bring it right back down. So it's up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Again, up for two, down for two. Eight more, up. Feel that burn, lower it with control. We always lower it with control. Down for two, six more, you've got it. Up for two, down for two. So there's a little pause at the top. Slow and steady on the way back down. Up for two, lower two, up for two, two more, you got it. Up for two, lower two. Up for two, let's take it right into front raises. Palms face in, now bring that dumbbell right in front of the heart. So front raises, you're bringing that dumbbell right shoulder level, right in front of your heart. Just working a different part of your shoulder. Up for two, lower two, you got it. Up for two, lower two, up for two. A few more guys, and then we're gonna hit that burnout that I've been talking about. Lift it for two, lower two, two more. Up for two, lower two, last one. I want you to bring it up and hold, bring it up and hold. Here is your burnout. Hold at this level, pretend like you have a pane of glass now underneath your dumbbell. We're not gonna let it drop. Take it out for two, go in for two. Out for two, in for two, you got it. Out for two. And for two, so really draw that right shoulder blade back. Now bring it back in, nice posture, slight pinch of the shoulder blades. Bring it in slow. Out for two, it's burning. You have six more, come on. Out for two, in for two, out for two. Come on, we gotta work through those shoulders. Out for two, in for two, you got it. Out for two, give me two more just like this. Out for two. In for two, last one, out for two, in for two, great job. Lower that weight, bring the right knee in beside the left. We're gonna do the other side. So set that dumbbell down if you didn't have it in your other hand, extend that left leg long, point the toe, and slowly let that right hand guide, guide down to your mat. So remember, you, this is an option for plank, which is what I'm doing today. But if you want more of a challenging variation, you can come down onto the forearms as well and stack the feet or bring the uh, bottom foot behind you. So let's start to tap that hip down, tap that hip down. Now feel your right obliques start to engage to bring you back up to that starting position. Hand can go up. You can also have that weight into the hand for more of a challenge or more stable right here. All right, guys, let's go down for two, lift for two, down for two, lift it up. Sometimes I like to bring my hand on my hip lift it up so this bottom oblique should be the one firing up down for two lift it up down for two lift it up again down for two lift it up four more that's it down for two lift 
and squeeze. Down for two. Squeeze that left booty cheek. Two more. Down for two. Lift it up. Last one. Down for two. Lift and hold. Come onto your right fingertips. Start to engage that left side oblique. Now float the right fingertips until you're back up to a neutral spine. Guess what? Now we need that dumbbell into your left hand. Start to release that left arm long. Palm faces towards the right side of the room. We're going into those lat races. Two counts. Let's go. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Little pause. Down with control. Up for two down for two so if this is your first time doing this you may have not grabbed the white or the right weight selection so just know for next time how your body's feeling could you go a little bit heavier next time do you need to go lighter next time it's up to you guys this weight selection is what's going to make this movement challenging up for two down for two two more up for two down for two last one up for two down for two front raises take it up right in front lower down palm faces in now bring that right hand to your right hip we have to keep our balance right here so i never want you to tip over or anything but guess what is keeping us nice and upright is our core you gotta engage your core to keep your balance now if you feel like this is too much you can bring both knees beside of one another so this is always another option if that feels like it's too much on your core. Up for two, down for two, two more guys. Up for two, down for two, last one, then hold. Up for two, now hold it, we burn it out, go out for two, and, and hold. So I want your belly button to stay straight ahead. Uh, you're not rotating with your dumbbell. Really draw that left shoulder blade back, and it's gonna be a struggle. It's gonna be a challenge to keep this dumbbell from dropping. That's your challenge. Come on, you're halfway through. Go out for two, in for two. You're looking right at me. Shoulder blade back, in nice and slow. Shoulder blade back, in nice and slow. Shoulder back, in for two. Out for two. Here's your last one. Out for two. And for two, great job. Lower that weight. Put that dumbbell down. Left knee goes beside the right. I want you to face forward onto your mat. Slowly bring those hands down to the mat until you're in a tabletop position. I hope you guys are ready to burn your booties. But first, we're going to do a little bit more core work. So one of the best exercises while you're pregnant to still engage your core is a bird dog. I know you've probably heard that. So start to draw the left knee a little towards the center. Extend your right leg long. So you already have to kind of fire up that core to keep your balance. Now draw the right hand slightly towards center, but not directly at center, and then extend the left arm long. You have to engage your core in order to keep your balance. All right, guys, one big inhale. As you exhale, float that right leg up. Hold here, hold and engage. We're gonna take it for a two count. Bring it right back to where you started, and then this is your ending position. So we bring it down for two, lift for two, down for two, lift for two. Kick it back, just like you're doing a kickback at the gym, engaging those glutes as well. In for two. Now your challenge with this is to float the left hand and the right knee. And an option, guys, is to let it rest a little bit longer. Out for two. In for two, two more than we hold. Out for two, in for two. Last one, out for two, in for two. Now hold it up, hold it up and engage. Hold, make sure that right hip point is square to the ground. Now we're going to tap this left pinky, right toe to the ground for two, then lift it up. So we take it down for two, lift it up and squeeze. Down for two, squeeze that right glute at the top. Down for two lift for two now an option is to let that hand rest heavy then lift it up and toe as well now if you want to challenge float the left pinky and the right toe see how close you can get it to the mat without actually touching and lift for two a few more down for two lift for two last one that we hold down for two 
lift, now hold. Release the left hand beside of the right, but keep the right leg extended. Bend the right knee until that right sole of the foot is pointed towards the ground. You feel that right glute engage? Good. Now, if you feel any pressure on the low back, what I want you to do is to come down to your forearms. I like this variation better, but you can always stay onto your hands if that feels better. If you're onto your forearms, uh, bring the left fingertips out to the side. <laughs> Are you guys ready to burn those glutes? Take the right knee in beside the left. Keep flexing the toes and then press that right heel back into the sky to burn out that glute. So it's down for two, lift for two. Down for two, press that heel towards the sky. Down for two, lift for two. Down for two. A lift for two. Ooh, it's burning. Down for two. A lift for two. Come on. Down for two. A few more just like this, guys. Take it down, slow, up, squeeze. Down, slow, up, squeeze. Two more. Up and squeeze. Last one. Let's hold it at the top. Pulse it out. Up. A little pulses up. Little pulses up, little pulses up, little pulses up. It's an inch up, an inch up, an inch up for four, for three, for two. Now hold. Extend that right leg long, then curl and squeeze it in. Extend it long, curl it in. Now tempo out and curl, out and curl, out and curl. How is that booty feeling? Come on, you're about halfway through. You have four. Last three, last two, hold it long, little pulses up for eight, seven, six, and then you hold, four, three, two, now hold. Take that right toe down to the ground, then lift it up. So it's down for two, use that booty to lift it up, come on, down for two. My booty's on fire, guys, come on, down for two. You have eight more just like this. Down for two. I know slower isn't always easier. Use that seat crease to lift it back up. Lift it strong. Down for two. Lift it up four more. Down for two. Lift it up three more. Down for two. Lift it up. Come on, last two. Woo! Last one. We're gonna hold it and pulse it out. Burn those glutes. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And bring that right knee beside the left. Come back onto the hands. Walk the hands back to the knees and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Before we hit that left side, we're gonna burn out those shoulders. What do you say? So you're coming down to your knees. Grab your dumbbells, guys. One dumbbell in each hand, guys. Let's go. Palms face in. Here's what's gonna happen. We bring it up to that front raise, neutral grip. Thumbs are on top. We then bring it wide. Palms are facing out, and then we bring it down for two. So we're gonna go slow one more time. So it's up, go out then lower down now tempo. Take it up, out, lower for two. Up, out, lower for two. Again, it's up, out, lower for two. Up, wide, lower down with control. It's up, go wide, lower down. Up, go wide, lower down. Up, Go wide, lower down. And if this is an uncomfortable on your knees, what I want you guys to do is to double roll your mat, pad up your knees just a little bit more. You can always take this to a standing position as well. If this is uncomfortable on your knees, keep it up. Go up, out, lower down with control. It's up, out, lower down with control. We have a few more like this, and then we're gonna reverse it. We'll start going wide first, then in, and then lower straight down. But we're not done yet. Lower to last one. Up, out, now we reverse. It's out, hug it in, bring it down. It's wide, hug it in, bring it down again. Go out, hug it in, bring it down. Out, hug it in. Bring it down again, guys. Out, hug it in, bring it down with control. Go out, go in, bring it in with control. Go out, in, bring it down slow. 
go out, in, bring it down with control. Go out, go in, bring it down. Last one, out, go in, bring it down. Now bring it out, bring it out. Little pulses up, little pulses with the thumbs. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold, hug it in. Now we pulse it here. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold, bring it wide again. Palms face up, palms face down, palms face up and down. So you're rotating this thumb towards me for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold. Your palms are on top. Slowly bring it down to that starting position. Now bring it up nice and wide. So we're going to do a rounded shoulder press, a circle shoulder press. Bring it up for two, lower down. So you're drawing a semicircle with both arms. Out for two, in for two. And all of these exercises, guys, they just hit a little different part of the shoulder. You want that rounded shoulder? You gotta put in some work. Out for two, wide, down, and slow. So make that circle with the arms, bring it right back down in front. Out, high, lower, in. Out, high, lower, in. A few more, guys. Out for two, in, and out. Out, up, out, go down. Out, go up, out, go down. Come on, a few more. It should be burning. If it's not burning by now, the next time, you got to grab some heavier weights. All right, guys. Ooh, we got to challenge ourselves. If we want to see a change, we have to challenge Come on, give me a few more. It's getting challenging. Out, go up, lower down. Out, go up, hold halfway, hold halfway. Bend at the elbows, field goal position. Pulse it up, pulse it up, pulse it up. Oh, pulse it up, pulse it up. Come on, this is what we're ending with. You have eight, seven, and six. We just hold. Four, three, Two, now hold, really stick that chest out, draw the shoulder blades slightly together, hold and squeeze for four, for three, two, now lower down. Great job guys, set those weights down. We're done with that, but we gotta do the other side to work your core and that booty. So flip it around to the back side of your mat, come into that tabletop position, shoulders over the wrist, hips over those knees, extend, you gotta fire up your core just a little bit. Extend that left leg nice and long, flex at the toes. All right, guys, I like to bring my right knee in a little bit towards center and then extend the opposite arm long. So my right hand is out, my left foot is out. All right, now inhale here as you exhale. Lift from that seat crease. Ooh, my booty is on fire. Okay, guys, we're gonna, this is our ending position. We're balancing, using our core really using our entire body, firing up that left glute. You are squeezing at the top. Now we are going to set it back down to where we started and lift it back up to return. So set it back down, lift it up to return. Set it back down, lift it up to return. Now tempo down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two. Again, down for two, Lift for two. Now, if you want to challenge, float the hand, float the knee, lift it up. Float the hand, float the knee, lift it up. Float the hand, float the knee, lift it up. Three more. Float it. Extend it. Squeeze that left glute, guys. Down for two. Lift it up. Last one. Down for two. Lift it up. Now hold. Bring the left toes down. Bring the right pinky down. Then lift it back up. So it's down, straight down, let it rest, then lift for two. Down for two, lift for two, down for two. Now see if you can float the left toes and right pinky, then lift it back up. See how close you can get the right pinky and left toes towards the ground without actually tapping. Squeeze that glute at the top. Down for two, lift for two, down for two. Three more guys, that's it. Down for two, lift for two, down for two, lift for two. Last one, down for two, 
lift, hold that leg nice and long. Squeeze that left glute, place the right hand back on down to the ground. We're gonna fire up your glutes. Now this may be more comfortable for you onto your hands. If it is more power to you, stay right there. For me, it is more comfortable onto my forearms. I want you to bend that left knee, left sole of the foot is pointing towards the sky. If you are on your forearms, bring that right hand out towards the center for a little bit more stability. Bring the left knee in beside the right, then shoot that left heel straight up towards the sky. So it's down nice and slow. Press through the heel to lift. Squeeze that left glute at the top. Now tempo down for two, lift for two. Down for two, lift for two again down nice and slow. You can always let that left knee rest a little bit right here, then lift it up. And another option, guys, is to reduce your range of motion. You may be right here instead of going all the way up here. Down for two, lift for two. Two more, lift it up, last one. Down for two, lift and hold, pulse it up. Little pulses up, an inch up, an inch up, an inch up, an inch, an inch. An inch, an inch, you have four, three, two, now hold. Extend that leg long, then curl it in. Extend it long, use those hamstrings to curl it in. Now tempo out, curl and squeeze that left glute, guys. Keep that leg high. Ooh, come on, you have six, five more, four, then we hold that leg long. Last three, last two. Last one, now hold that leg long, pulse that left heel, the back of the left heel towards the sky. Bring it up, squeeze that left glute for four, for three, for two, now hold. Bring the left toes towards the ground. You can even let it rest on the mat, keep the hip point square. Use the left glute to bring it back up to center. So it's down nice and slow, lift from that seat crease. Down for two, lift it up, squeeze. Down for two, lift it up and squeeze. Down for two, lift and squeeze. You got it, down for two, lift and squeeze. You're halfway through, come on. See if you can hover the left toes off the ground. Then lift, reach that heel towards the ceiling. Down for two, lift it up. Come on, a few more. Lift it up, two more. Down for two. Lift it up, last one. Down for two. Lift it up, hold in, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And let that left knee come on down. Bring the knees about mat distance, toes come in, give that belly some room, and then release your hips back to your heels and come into a nice wide-legged child's pose. You can even let that head rest onto the mat. Ooh, guys, nice work today. Frame the face with both hands, press through the palms to rise up into a seated position, and let's stretch out those shoulders. Cross the right arm over the body. Give yourself a nice hug, and release that left ear towards the left shoulder. Oh, feeling a nice stretch along that right trap as well. Bring the neck to a neutral position. Let's switch arms. Hug it in with the left arm. Release that right ear. I was already doing it right here towards the right shoulder. Oh, bring it back up. Inhale, arms reach overhead. As you exhale, cactus arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Chest is lifted. Let's do that one more time, guys. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus and squeeze. Awesome job, you guys. Let me know what you think of this video. I always get a nice wide range of comments on my prenatal videos. Some saying it wasn't easy enough. Some saying it was way too hard. Remember guys, you can always hit pause. Um, always check with your doctor before beginning any exercise regimen. If there's something that you guys would like to see or something that you really liked in this video, guys, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Guys, have a wonderful day. Keep up the great work.